Hello, my name is Kira, and welcome to a mystical day here at the Cliffs of Moher. Now, I studied a master's in history and from a very young age, I had a wonder and awe, uh, particularly in terms of local history and folklore. Um, as a very young child, I'd sit on the floor around the fire and my granddad would be sitting on a stool or my dad and we'd listen to old tales, whether they were folklore, local legends, and they were quite spooky too. Um, there were stories about the Banshee and Jack O'Lantern, uh, the Headless Horseman, the Coach of Bower. Um, and, you know, this really sparked um, an interest that I would ca carry forward into my future. One of my most favourite stories that my father told me was how Hag's Head got its name. So down there to the south of the cliffs is an area known as Hag's Head. And by a hag, I mean a witch. And the story goes, an old hag called Mal fell in love with the Irish warrior Cú Cullen. Now, Cú Cullen didn't return his feelings to Mal, and this made her outrageously crazy. So she decided to chase Cú Cullen. And the chase went wildly all along the edge of the cliff, over mountains, through the burn, across the land of County Clare until they reached Loop Head. And at Loop Head, Mal was convinced she had Cú Cullen cornered there on the edge of a cliff. But Cú Cullen, being a remarkably powerful warrior, managed to leap from sea stack to sea stack all the way back to the cliffs of Moher. And Mal tried to follow him once again, but her not being as nimble on her footing, slipped on a sea stack and dashed against the side of the cliffs to a gruesome death. And they say her blood flowed throughout the Atlantic Ocean as far as the town of Milltown, which henceforth became known as Milltown Malbay. And they also say the cliffs took on the formation of her face. So down near the very end, you'll see a kind of a, a rock formation just in front of the signal tower. And that's where we have poor Mal. Now, there's another story um, about the north side of the cliffs, about an area known as Isle Nasharach which means the Cliff of the Falls. And we all know about St. Patrick, so we are aware that when St. Patrick came to Ireland, he banished the snakes. But the snakes in this story are a reference to our pagan ancestors. So at the time in Ireland, the Celtic gods and leaders were a tribe known as the Tua de Danann, or the people of the divine goddess Danu. Now, this tribe were infuriated at the bringing of Christianity to Ireland by St. Patrick. So they decided to retreat into the underworld, into the caves and into the land of County Clare. And after many hundreds of years of living in the underworld, it came their time to be called out. So in the form of beautiful white foals, seven Tuadadanan gods galloped out into the light of day, which they had not seen for many years. Spooked and blinded by the light, they didn't realise they were heading straight here for the Cliffs of Moher. They galloped and galloped and leaped over the cliffs and passed into the afterlife. And beneath the area from where they leaped now break some of the most magnificent waves in Ireland known as Aileen's. And a lot of visitors that come here look down at those waves and they think they can see beautiful white folds galloping through them. We also get world-class surfers who come to surf. Thank you very much.